Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I appreciate y'all so much for continuing to come back to my channel. I know I haven't been uploading a lot, but y'all know that life has been life in and I've just been going with the flow. So let's go ahead and jump into the haul. I'm going to share just kind of the more boring things first. Y'all know I always uh, pick up a box of tissues. This time I got the Scotties. That's all that I saw in this particular Dollar Tree. You get 128 in here though versus like the 96 or 98 that you get with um, puffs. Also picked up some of these uh, Sure Fresh quart size slider bags. I love picking these up. You get 17 in here. Um, I was getting the hefty, but you get more for your money with these. And they're not bad, y'all. They, they work just fine. I don't have any issues with them. I put food in them, all kinds of food, meats, no issues. Um, here's the gallon size. You get 13, and these are the slide lock, slide zip lock. Y'all know. <laughs> um, what else do I want to share with y'all? So, um, I did go by. This is a Dollar Tree Plus store. So, I did pick up some of the plus items from the $5 section, and these are electronic items. So, I needed another USB cable for my phone. I have like the wall bricks and all that stuff, but I needed another cord because y'all know how the Apple cords can be sometimes. And I'm not spending, what are they usually, $19 or $21 for a Apple branded one. I'm not doing that. It's just not worth it to me. So I picked up this one. Um, not bad. $5, four feet long. It's great to find an Apple charger at Dollar Tree. Y'all know we're not used to that. Um, and I got it in white. I've picked up another one of these before in black. I still have it. It's extra for me, but I wanted to pick up another one. So I did grab, it's by Fisher. That's the name of the company. And this is for my iPhone. And then something else I saw that was pretty cool, an adjustable desktop mount. It says it's great for video chatting, work from home, making videos and more. It's $5. That's what that looks like. And then here is what it looks like on the side. And let's actually open it up because I'm very curious to see what it is um, looking like. So let me get some scissors. And we are going to check this out together. I thought about setting it up and putting my phone on it and all that good stuff. But um, I decided that I want to wait and open it with y'all. And I just propped my phone up on something I have sitting on my desk so let's see is that this um is adjust it has an adjustable grip cradle complete rotation 360 um it says it stands up to I think this is 13 inches tall maybe we shall see so here is everything that came out of the box and it's bubble wrapped. You get like a little um, instruction manual thing. And a little thank you for your purchase. If you have any issues with your device, please contact us before returning it to the store you purchased it from. Okay. So Max Charge said, <laughs> come to the source if you have a problem. Don't go to Dollar Tree. This is pretty heavy. The base of it. I love that already because y'all know these phones get heavy when we start putting cases on them. Especially if you have like an otter box or, you know, some elaborate case. So it does come in pieces. So, alrighty y'all. So here is what the stand is looking like. So it is definitely adjustable. This little piece that fell down in there. So it does have a pivot. So it is able to pivot pretty good. Pretty good pivot. And it's very sturdy so it can pivot like this and then this part can pivot like this so hey if y'all are maybe wanting to get into possibly doing any type of uh, content creation and you're using your cell phone you don't want to or maybe you don't have the means to invest in a um, heavy duty tripod as of yet you just want to get your feet wet and test it out definitely go ahead and pick up this right here from Dollar Tree from the $5 plus section. So, um, not $5 plus. Well, technically it is, but from the Dollar Tree plus section, it was only $5. And honestly, it is well worth it. Adjustable and pretty good height too. Like I'm definitely going to be using this to film my videos at my desk. 
and I may be able to use it in some planner things too. I have my overhead thing that's clipped to my desk for planner stuff, but I really enjoy that as well. So I did pick that up. I also got some poster tack by the Jock brand because y'all will see, I just picked up a cute little poster from Dollar Tree. So I needed some poster tack to put it on the wall. And then they have these awesome posters. Now these are, they were kind of by the $5 plus section or the Dollar Tree plus section, but this was only $1.25. It's a wall poster. I'm pretty sure it's either by Greenbrier. Yeah, by Greenbrier. And it is 24 inches by 36 inches. And this one says, no one else is you. And that is your superpower. And they had a variety of different um, posters in there. They had some animal posters, things like that. I thought this one was the cutest. And I'm actually going to hang this one up on um, that wall right there. So you may be able to see it in the background of my videos because this wall right here doesn't have anything on it. And then right next to it is a window. So I'm going to put it on that wall, which is, um, that's the end that I laid my head at. Those are my pillows back there. So also got, I've already shown y'all the phone cord. I've shown y'all that. So I went to their, um, their stationary aisle and I picked up some things that kind of caught my eye that I hadn't picked up before. So they have the, what brand is this? The ink brand, which is they always have their stuff in the Dollar Tree, INC. It's journaling by INC, metallic brush marker. This one is in purple ink and it has a metallic finish. Now it also says that this one does write on black paper as well. So if you have some black construction paper, maybe you get to see the purple metallic show up on there. So that was pretty neat. I wanted to grab that. I saw this cute little pen. I think this has been there before, but it is a journaling uh, by ink pen. And it's a metal twist up fashion pen. It's got a cute little pineapple, I guess, on there. So the pen itself is 1.0 millimeters as far as the tip. So that was pretty cute. Let me give you a close up of it. And then also a close up of this one. And y'all know I love my journaling. I love my Bible journaling, all that stuff. I always have. That's always been my jam. Well, I just got into Bible journaling really when I came on YouTube. Uh, back in 2016, you know, watching stuff like that. and But journaling, I mean, I have did that my whole life, really. Doodling, journaling, all of that. Now, they also had this, like, eco-friendly type stuff. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. It's by Greenbrier, though, so I don't know how, how exactly eco-friendly it is, considering everything else they make. But um, it's by the Kind brand, I think. And eco-friendly cork pens. So you get three of these cute little cork pens. Let's open them up because I'm curious to see how they kind of feel. Obviously, like cork maybe. I don't know. See how they write too. And the tip on these is, um, it actually doesn't tell you what kind of tip it is. So I guess we're about to find out. So here's what the pens look like. You get like this, um, kind of like a light blue. You get a creamish looking color and you get like a pink. So we're gonna see exactly. We'll use the pink one, of course. Um, honestly, kind of just looks like a ballpoint pen to me. Let's see what kind of ink. Okay, with black ink. So it writes very smooth. I like it so far. Can't beat that. Some cute little pens to throw on your purse or in your work bag, whatever the case may be. Then they had these fine liners. It says that these are assorted wheat straw and smooth writing so we'll see if it is a fine liner i don't know why i said it's the kind brand one clearly on here it says jot on these actual pens on the cork pens it does not say anything and it doesn't say jot on the packaging either it just says kind at the top see that so it is actually jot so this is a jot's version of i guess a uh, more eco-friendly stationery it was hard to see what else they had because at this Dollar Tree, they had all that new stuff sitting on the top shelf. You know what? They have an interesting shape to them. I don't know if you can kind of tell so y'all don't think I'm crazy. It's not completely round. How can I show y'all? I don't know if y'all can see that, that it's not completely round. Like this isn't, okay, maybe right there you can kind of see that even though the red dot, the red circle looks round, which is part of the pen itself maybe that's where the ink is 
the actual body of the pen is almost uh, triangular. So let's open this one up. This one's red. Okay, definitely fine liner. So we're going to see how well it writes. Wonderfully. These pens are so smooth. You don't even have to try, it's like butter. I love that. So with that one, you get just primary colors, red, black, and uh, blue. So good mixture of colors to have. Last couple of things. And you know what, while we're here, let's go ahead and test out the other pens. I'm always saving this stuff thinking that I'm gonna do a dedicated planner video. And it's just best to go ahead and go over this stuff now, because obviously I'm talking about it on this channel. But, oh, I love the way, I'm just weird. I love the way pens feel um, in my hands. Okay. Oh, it's got the brush tip. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so gorgeous. It's definitely metallic-y. Man, need to let it dry a bit. Okay, okay. I don't know if, uh, you know, my lighting isn't going to do it justice, but I'm liking it now. As far as it being able, you being able to write on um, black paper, you know, they, they're pulling a, a fast one over on us with that. Because I don't, you're not going to be able to see this on black paper. It is a little too dark. Metallic or not, I, you know, you may be able to see it shining, but it's not quite metallic enough for you to write on black paper. So keep that in mind for sure. And then let's open this cute little fashion pen, which is just a ballpoint pen, but see how it feels in our hands and if it writes nice and smooth. Okay. Fast drying, non smudging. Okay, so it has black ink, we're just going to write it on another one here okay it was a little rough at first as you can see but not bad it writes pretty smooth pretty smooth and it's a um a twist so these are always nice purses to keep on the go um these and the click pins you know anything without a top is always great to have in your purse because tops come off and ink will be everywhere y'all know so that is actually everything that I have for my Dollar Tree haul. I actually met one of y'all at the dollar store. I did not get her name. I definitely apologize about that. And it was great meeting you. She was so sweet. She said um, that she, I think she said she started watching me maybe from my planning channel and she started watching my Dollar Tree haul. So don't ever be afraid to come out and um, talk to me in public. I absolutely love that. I love running into y'all. I think I have ran into maybe... That was the third person that I've actually, that spotted me out in public, that's spoken to me um, since I started YouTube, but I love that. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, that's actually not all I have. I just lied. I got two more things sitting in front of me and I probably have them in the thumbnail because I was really excited about them. But I picked up the shower headbands. They are by the Spa April Bath and Shower brand. I thought they were really cute because, you know, you see everybody doing their skincare routine. Y'all know normally when I do mine, I just have a bonnet on, but I thought that these would be really cute. And I was thinking about picking up some on Amazon anyway for a while, so wanted to try these out. And you know what? Hey, whoa. So the fur definitely comes off bad with these, but let's see. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? That's unfortunate. Maybe um, take a lint roller and go over it a little bit before you put it on your head. Or put your bonnet on first and then put this on. But this is good to put on when you're doing your skincare routine, washing your face, things like that. Keep the water and products from getting on your edges, especially. That's my biggest thing. Sometimes if I am doing my skincare routine, washing my face, I don't have my bonnet on. Sometimes the soap, soap will get up here. And you may not want certain products, you know, on your hairline and things like that. They also had a pink and white one. So this one was more or less like leopard and it's still cute. And it's got the little bow right there. I know y'all are getting into the, the wristbands for that too. I haven't jumped on that bandwagon yet. Ooh, 
I love this pink one. Now, they had a lighter pink, but I wanted this dark one. It, they did have more of a baby pink. And did they have any other colors? I think they had like a greenish teal with polka dot. And it was white polka dot. Then they had like a baby pink. And they had this one. And they had this one. Um, they did not have any other varieties of the leopard. I should have took pictures, y'all. So let's see if the pink one... Okay, the pink one is not shedding as much. So that's awesome. See little imperfections, but hey, it's $1.25. You get what you pay for, of course. Oh yeah, I love this though. I think they're so cute. I will be then fell asleep with it on my head though after doing my skincare routine. So that really is everything this time. Has some lint flying around from the um, the things. Thank y'all so much for watching again. Um, thank you to the sweet lady that approached me in Dollar Tree. That really made my day. I was having not really a rough one, but it's been, shoot, rough couple years. Let's not lie, but it was very nice to see you. I'm sorry I didn't get your name. Thank y'all so much for watching my channel. I also received a card. Let me get it, y'all. I got a card in my P.O. box, and I don't want to forget to shout this person out because I received it a little while ago. But um, she did send me a little card with some stitch stickers in it cute little mug with uh, like a candy cane in it this was from miss christy she said wendy i wanted to share some stitch stickers with you wishing you a happy new year i hope 2023 brings you joy thanks for sharing yourself with others and she is from south carolina so thank you miss christy from south carolina i really appreciate that she, I believe I actually used one of these already on my laptop, but she got me this cute little stitch sticker. Y'all know I love Lilo and Stitch. So these are so cute. And she got me like a handful of them. So I really appreciate that. I like to put stickers like these on water bottles, on my journals, on uh, my computer, my laptop. Um, look at this one. He's like upset or something. And this one, he is shocked. And I love that she sent me stickers that I actually, I don't have any of these. Like, these are very unique. Like, I bought, like, a 50 count of the stitch stickers that they have on Amazon. You know, like, the little loose stickers, kind of like this. And it didn't have any of these in here. So, I really like this one. A little dream catcher with Stitch's ears on it. And this one is crazy right here. I didn't notice this one. Stitch has a mask on. I love that. And this one stitches in the hot tub. And then right here, he's about to go to sleep or maybe waking up. So I really thought that these were so cute. And I did want to give Miss Christy a shout out because I definitely love those. And I truly appreciate them. Happy New Year to you as well, Miss Christy. I hope that the year is wonderful for you also. And we appreciate you for watching my channel. So with all that being said, thank y'all again. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.